about this. You know, when God wanted to take his anger, his wrath against sinners out upon his son, what exactly did God use to execute his wrath upon Jesus? Did he unleash a volcano against his son to show his wrath? Did he zap Jesus with a lightning strike from heaven to show his wrath against sinners? What did he use? He used the wrath of sinners against God. The wrath of sinners against God that they poured out on Jesus, they were doing on behalf of God to express his wrath against them. In other words, the worst thing that he could find in this world to represent his wrath against sinners was the wrath of sinners themselves against God. Having the nature of God breathed into them but fallen makes them perfect dark reflections of the wrath of God against man. It's in perfect balance to the wrath of sinners against God. And that's what he used to unleash his sin, his wrath against, against his son. And by the way, sometimes sinners complain that God is unfair to make people suffer for their sins, suffer the wrath of God against them forever and ever and ever. But think about this. When sinners had finished taking their wrath against God out on Jesus, were they done yet? No. They began breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples. And when the last of the apostles were gone, was their wrath against God finished then? No. The Roman persecutions were just starting. And down through the centuries, across the generations, through inquisitions and communist dictatorships and Muslim extremists and on and on, the wrath of sinners against God never ends all the way down to the Antichrist and beyond at the end of the millennial kingdom. The wrath of, of sinners against God never ends. So God will continue to take his wrath out upon them in hell as long as they continue to hate him in return. And for them to complain that for God to punish us forever and ever, well, that's unfair. That's hypocritical. They understand perfectly the concept of endless anger. The world always hates God, always has, always will. And not until they come to a moment of repentance and turning in faith to the gospel of Christ's death, burial, and resurrection on their behalf does he transform them from the inside out and give them a love for God that has just not been characteristic of mankind ever since the fall.